didn't mention the shot back Barato, if his name didn't come into the frame. So here we go, the world final, under 60 kilos category. Get away with uh, one of those, I think. Uh, Baratov uh, will keep stopping those dead. I think uh, he'll have to use other things. So I think he'll look for the for the Nawaza, Garigos. He knows that he's got to be really aware of the Yoko Satemiwaza from Baratov. Drops underneath, he just drives off to the side. It uh, hardly looks as if he's going to drop either, but uh, it's so powerful. But uh, it's Garrigos who just got his, his gripping is absolutely amazing. Hey. Sodi Surikomi there and just gets put to ground. Look at that, goes right the way underneath, tries to uh, take the arm around the back there. That's what he threw. Takato with in the semi final. Very aware that he's near the edge of the area. little Kouchi there, just sat him down on his bum. This is where uh, I think that he's going to have the success here. He's going to look for the uh, turnover. Just needs to work hard, like uh, you said earlier, uh, Sheldon, it's about working hard in the early stages because then it has become so much more difficult to get in the later stages. Uzbekistan have got a, a good history in the under 60 kilo category. A double world champion, Rishad Sobirov, from a few years back. Yeah, I was going to say this is the first time, isn't it, since Sobirov that they've had a, somebody representing going for the world title. Big arm over, and uh, Galigas goes, No, I don't want anything to do with that. Sharafidin Lutfilayev. Um, in 2019, hey. silver medalist, he snuck in there. Not quite the same kind of impact on, on, on the weight category that Sobirov did. Sobirov, you know, you hey. pretty much say that he was legendary. Garagos gets the uh, Shido then, just falling off the pace. This will be all about pace, keeping the... Look at that, he's got the head down here, and this is where Baratov has to be a little bit cautious. Tactical here, it is a tactical match. Hey. Tried to change the direction there, uh, Garigos. I suppose we should also mention Diorbek Urizboyev. He was a bronze medalist at the, uh, at the World Championships. That was in Budapest in 2017. Inside the last minute now. See how they're on the sleeves here. And Still managing somehow to get full rotation round there. That was seeing Aggie there from Baratov, very, very Three. low. And uh, I mean, Garagos has got such a strong Kumakata that uh, it's a miracle that he can actually rotate at all. Uh, well, he will get away with that because uh, Baratov just sticks his Three. hips in. 
kills it absolutely dead. times for the coaching staff for Uzbekistan as well. Yeah, he's out of his seat here <laughs> and uh, refereeing while he's uh, coaching there. <laughs> have to be careful for that. Hey. Well, look at that. Yeah, straight in there. This is going to be a second Shido, I think, for Garrigos, is it? No, oh, no, he gets away with it. Thought he might get it there, but just dropping onto his back. This is what he needs to use. Well, you're kind of hoping, aren't you, for a, a miracle at this stage. You just want something to happen. It's a close, close match between the two. Oh, oh he's going to get it. It's a Wazari yeah. scored. It's Wazari and uh, Garagos has done it. Galagos is the uh, world champion. 41 seconds into golden score. Galagos with a very, very low Kataguruma, Yoko Sutami and takes Bar Baratov over for a Wazari. Here it is, Francisco Gorigas becomes the second ever Spaniard to win a World Championship gold medal. Great respect from them, look at that. And uh, yeah, he uh, was a junior world champion, now he's a senior world champion. Spanish male, sorry, I should <laughs> say, yeah. second ever yeah, Spanish yeah. male behind Nicolas. Good say, good say. Really, yeah. <laughs> We might be here a little bit longer if we go for the win. <laughs>